Page 12, problem number 23 reads, find the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line that passes through these two points, 5, negative 1, and negative 5, 5. First of all, slope-intercept form, we know our answer is going to look like this. y equals mx plus b. So, we need to find two things to plug in here. We need to find m, the slope, and b, the y-intercept. Let's start with the slope. To find the slope between any two points, we can subtract the y's and subtract the x's. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this case, m equals, let's subtract the y's first, so here's our y2 and y1. So we'll say 5 minus negative 1 over x2 minus x1, so here's our x2, here's our x1, so we'll say negative 5 minus 5. And if we simplify this fraction, 5 minus negative 1 is equal to 6, negative 5 minus 5 is equal to negative 10, and we can reduce this fraction to negative 3 fifths. Okay, so we've got the first thing that we need for our slope-intercept form. We know the slope is negative 3 fifths. To find the y-intercept, what we need to do, we're going to plug our slope in place of m. We're going to plug one of these points in place of x and y. Doing this will give us one variable to solve for b. That'll tell us the y-intercept. So, I can pick either one of these points. Let's pick this first point here and plug in 5 for x, negative 1 for y, and negative 3 fifths for m. So that gives me y equals mx plus b. Negative 1 equals negative 3 fifths times x, which is equal to 5, plus b. First of all, to multiply these fractions, we can think of this 5 as 5 over 1. To multiply, I can cancel the 5s out first. And I can say negative 1 equals negative 3 plus b. Now if I add 3 to both sides, that gives me, I'll bring it over here, 2 equals b. So there's the second piece of information that we can plug in here. So once I do that, I've got my final answer. I'll write it down here. y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 2. So there's the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that passes through these points. Let's check this by getting out our graphing calculator. And let's press our y equals key and type this in here. y equals, I'll put this in parentheses, because it is a fraction, we'll say negative 3 fifths times x plus 2. When I graph this, I can estimate whether these points are on this line, 5, negative 1, negative 5, 5. It appears that those points are on the line. I can see for sure by pressing second graph and seeing a table of values. This gives me a table of x and y values. I can see negative 5, 5 is on that line. And I can also see that 5, negative 1 is on that line. So I'm guaranteed that I've got the right answer.